That's a disclaimer. That's why we're oh, wearing oh. purple for all the Laker fans out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> May the, the Lakers are not um, on my list. And also, sorry, Paul, for you, the Jazz. Even though no, we're, we're wearing black <laughs> this year. Okay, okay. we're wearing black. But the Jazz is not, not part of good. this list as well. We're, not, we're, we're, we're tanking for one Bayama. <laughs> but all right, anyway, so let's get started here. Uh, let's go with the most obvious one here, mm -hmm. Denise. Right. Golden State Warriors. I mean, they're the defending champs for a reason, and they're going to try to defend their championship once again. You know, they're very familiar with this situation, you know, trying to defend their own championship. And Clay Thompson is having a full off season to prepare. So that's going to be interesting how Clay will play this season. Steph is always on a, you know, upward trend when it comes to his playing style. Um, Draymond Green, that's a little bit of a question mark with what happened with Jordan Poole. But when you take a look at their lineup, especially with their young core in Andrew Wiggins, in Jordan Poole, um, Jonathan Kuminga, and James Wiseman also is coming back this season. So, you know, they won the championship last year, last season, and now they're getting better, getting more firepower with their lineup. So it's just, it just makes sense to put them in their list. Next on your list is Bolton Celtics. Boston. Boston. Boston, Boston. 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 Bolton is a place in I, London. I didn't say <laughs> in England. Bolton. I <laughs> Boston, right, Boston Celtics. Celtics. I mean, the Boston Celtics, they made it to the finals last season. Um, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they're still one of the best one-two punch in, in the NBA. But also, they added a true point guard in their lineup in Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah. And that's gonna be that's what they missed in that last finals um, appearance against the Golden State Warriors. Yes, Marcus Smart is a point guard, but he's more of a defensive type. And offensively, he just shoots catch and shoots. He's not really the one who can play make and make shots for you know Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Malcolm Brogdon, uh, the president, uh, coming in to join the Boston right. Celtics. Of course, uh, I think it's an under, one of the more underrated moves here. Uh, despite the office drama, a lot of people are wondering about that. So let's see what's going to happen there. But of course, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks up next uh, with a guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo. I gotta mean, give it to them. Yeah, why not? I mean, one of the best players in the league. But aren't the people around him old? I mean, this is you know the, probably their last chance with this lineup. Talking yeah. about Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. Sometimes people forget that you know Mil the Milwaukee Bucks just won a championship just you know two years ago, and they you know missed the services of Chris Middleton in trying to guard the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. Of course, Drew Holiday is a great defensive player, but he can't stop guys like Jason Tatum yeah. and Jalen Brown. And that's what they missed in that matchup. That's why they lost against the Boston Celtics. So if they all stay healthy this season, the Milwaukee Bucks can actually win it. Let's go Joe Ingles. All right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Brooklyn Nets. Of course, nandiyan yung Irving, yung Durant, yung Simmons. Yeah. All superstars. Do you think they can experiment again? Mag kaya bang mag coexist ng tatlong to? Well, this also might be the last chance with mm -hmm. this Nets, ex yeah. Nets experiment. I mean, they might be one of the most entertaining teams offensively when you watch them. Of course, Kyrie is a highlight. KD will always get a bucket. And Ben Simmons is actually playing, and that will be interesting. We saw it earlier. I know it's the preseason, but you know he put the clamps on Giannis Antetokounmpo, forcing him to less than 30% from the field. So that's going to be the effect of a Ben Simmons. A little bit like Draymond, defense and offense, he can you know facilitate for the Brooklyn Nets. So the last one on your list here, uh, we have a lot of time, so we're going to dive into the others later right. on. But then the last one here is the Los Angeles Clippers, and of course uh, the Clippers. Uh, talking about Kawhi, everyone's going to assume that he's going to come back as good as he was in Toronto, mm -hmm. as good as he was before the injuries. And of course, we're hoping Paul George is also healthy. There's a lot of ifs there, right. but then if they get it all right, are they a title contender? What I like about what Kawhi did with his injury, he did not rush the whole process, right? Last season, he could have, you know, came back in the playoffs. You know, he had that timeline, but, you know, he took his time and tried to recover to get back to his old self and maybe you know stronger than his old self we've seen photos we've seen videos on social media that you know he actually bulked up he's stronger than before and with Paul George still there that's a tough one two punch for for the clippers and also Ty Lue a champion coach yeah. can also do things for the clippers and add to that John Wall John, John Wall, Wall. Mm. he's still athletic we saw some highlights he can dunk and that's going to be interesting. Please stay healthy. Of course. <laughs> that's, of course. that's it. But speaking of videos, alam naman natin, there was one video that went viral right, not right. so long ago. Do you think the relationship that Draymond and Poole has right now can affect their chances? First pick mo pa naman yun. Hey, this team is a champion team. They have that collective experience of, you know, trying to play through um, scenarios like this. And, uh, you know, 
they had this with KD before, but they still made it to the finals. So it's going to be interesting how the leaders will step yeah. up. But this is just going to make them better or it's going to be the downfall for the Warriors. It's just one of the two and hopefully it's the first one. Last one here, bonus uh, one here for you. We only asked you for five, but if you're going to come up with another team that can upset all of this, a dark horse uh, title contender, what team would that be? I'd go for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, I got to go for wait, my guy wait, here. I mean, wait, wait, the main wait, host wait, here. Wait. Donovan Mitchell is with the Cavs okay. and they're wearing maroon. I'm from the okay. fighting maroons. <laughs> the dark horse. I mean, Evan Mobley, Darius Garland, okay. Donovan Mitchell, Karius Levert. That's a tough lineup, man. I'm with the, Allen there as well. How are they gonna make it out of the eat? Anyway, no. I mean, I'm just uh, saying. They, no. If they make it happen. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. We should have spent more time <laughs> on that. I, I'm, I'm lucky that that's the last question. Oh, right. I mean, I'm lucky that that's the last question. Yeah, yeah, but all right. So, Jack Dario picking the Cleveland Cavs as a dark Was horse. Was that a hot take? I don't, I don't I think, think that's a I hot take. I think it though. would. I, I think Jello would fight you. That's uh, a, anyway. We're going to see. I yeah. mean, that's why it's a, you know, it's a prediction. So. Okay. All right. Let's see.